As the Earth warms, extreme weather events have grown more frequent. This year in July and August alone, Hunnan, Sichuan, Shanxi, and Shanxi provinces all experienced major floods. This is not just in China. Over the past 20 years, the number of floods around the world has more than doubled. When flooding occurs, relief workers need to know what's happening as fast as possible. This is why satellites and the images they can transmit have become a critical tool for disaster relief. How satellites help disaster relief? Different objects on the Earth's surface, such as bodies of water, vegetation, and soil, all reflect radio signals differently. A satellite generates images based on different features of the detected electromagnetic waves and transmits them to a ground station. Through computer vision processing, we can derive the distribution of water in the image and estimate the area of the disaster. But in practice, there are some problems. More than 66% of the Earth's surface is often blocked by clouds, and images taken by optical satellites are often blocked by clouds, too. So the satellite needs to send a large number of images back to the ground. The computing center on the ground pre-processes the images, identifies and removes clouds in the images based on difference in the spectral characteristics of clouds and terrestrial objects, and forwards the processed images to the disaster relief center. However, the bandwidth available for satellite transmission is limited. Only about 10% of the data generated by satellites every day can be transmitted to the computing center. Huawei Cloud has the answer. Cloud native edge computing can work together with the satellites. Some computing workloads can be directly handed over to the satellites themselves. With edge computing, satellites can automatically identify clouds in images, filter out unusable images, and transmit only the images with analysis value back to the computing center on the ground, saving bandwidth. In addition, with the help of Huawei Cloud AI high precision models, the time required for image pre-processing, water area extraction, and monitoring report generation can be shortened from one day to one hour. To achieve this goal, the Shenzhen Graduate School of Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunications and the Tianyi Research Institute jointly launched the Tianxuan Constellation Program. Huawei Cloud becomes the first partner to integrate CubeEdge into the satellite computing platform. On December the 7th, the Tianxuan Constellation pilot satellite was successfully launched. This satellite is the first to provide cloud-native edge computing, which will better serve ecological monitoring, disaster protection and mitigation, and urban construction in the future. Huawei Cloud's cloud-native edge computing has also been widely used in a wide range of other fields. For example, smart applications can be deployed on roadside cameras to enable toll stations to calculate tolls faster and alleviate traffic congestion at toll stations. In the future, Huawei Cloud will continue to join with customers and partners to build a cloud foundation for an intelligent world. Working together, we can build a better cloud for a smarter life.